Canada's iChapeau, International Child Harboring and Abduction Prevention Enforcement Act, under law. Here today in front of the Ontario Courts in Newmarket, uh, the sentencing of my ex father in law uh, after abducting my two sons out of Canada and being missing for two and a half years. Uh, they're being harbored by the country of Poland. I believe Poland has broken up to five international treaties with Canada, uh, on top of that, not respecting the Interpol agreement. Um, my sons are stuck in Poland. Uh, and even the Polish courts have uh, removed the rights of, uh, of their mother, so they're, they're left in limbo. And uh, I think it's time now that the, uh, the federal government uh, take a stance at countries such as Poland, such as Brazil and Japan, who have signed international treaties and have just discriminately breaking our, these agreements. Under our Canadian Charter of Rights, Section 132, it says Canada has the power to, to deal with countries that are breaking international treaties. And I think it's time that, uh, that that has to be done. So today I'm here with uh, a bunch of uh, parents in similar situations as I am. Our children have been internationally abducted or abducted into other provinces. Some of our cases are public, as you can see. Some cases are not public. And I think it's important that uh, we come up with new solutions and ideas and bring them forward, not only to courts like this, uh, so that these types of things don't happen to other Canadians, but also give our uh, government some new solutions on how to deal with other nations that are non-compliant. I have a letter from the Hague Convention that says that Canada, it's up to Canada to actually deal with the other nation. Now being armed with that, um, I'm, I'm putting this forward to the Prime Minister of Canada. On May 15th, he stood up in front of National News in Canada and he said that this case was in the, in the courts. And now at this point, uh, it's, it's now the uh, December the 4th, the Canadian courts have ruled, uh, and I would hope that he would respect uh, that a uh, Canadian judge has reviewed the matter and has found that a crime of Canada has happened. Um, and I think it's important, not only for my case, but I mean, it sets the tone that, you know, there's probably a lot of other cases of all the parents that are with me as well, they, that their, their children were illegally abducted too. So. Um, you know, I want to make sure that we, uh, we as a, our association um, called the I Chapeau, uh, are, are working to uh, working together for the first time. I think we have a very interesting slogan. Uh, our slogan is "One voice sounds like a whisper, but thousands of voices sound like a roar." And I think up until now, we've all been fighting our individual battles. I'm fighting a battle with another nation. My friend here, Caesar, is fighting a battle with another nation. Many, many Canadians are doing this. I think it's time that now we work together. We point out the failings of these other countries, of all the different treaties that they've broken. And I think it's time that uh, our, Canadian, our Canadian government reacts uh, appropriately. Um, and it shouldn't matter if it's one missing child. Uh, it could be one missing child, or it could be a big business deal. The fact remains, when multiple treaties are broken, uh, Canada has to stand up and react. So I'd like to thank you for uh, listening to this and also watching and sharing all the links on the iShapo website, which can be found at www.ishapo.ca. Scan this QR code with your mobile device using a QR code reader app.
Let your voice be heard. Like us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash iChapeau.